far away from previous streams, seeing how consistent of uh, like gameplay, both of y'all, you and Spop, and I said this in the commentary, have like really like from your very high burst gameplay in the beginning, you definitely spread it out. Like, yeah. You've definitely evenly coded. Yeah. You've definitely was, spread the butter evenly across bread. It was really crazy. Ooh, STJ Bunk. So we saw this earlier. Oh, I know. Uh, so Bunk did take out STJ. The reason why he is in losers to begin with, but SG, SCJ, the player that just uh, annoyingly creeps out, if that makes sense. Just always living, no matter what. Dude, it's so crazy. Buck was telling me about it, and he's like, yeah, it's just so difficult. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he it, was like, it is it is a hard matchup for Beach. It but. literally feels writhing after yeah. a certain point, so. And every match lasts a while, you know? Yeah. I mean, because you're so limited to such, to like only a few options that aren't even guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. So you have to work off stray hits off of any form of turnip throw. Your nares most likely will soft hit. Uh, up air kills e pretty early, but it's hard to hit. Yeah, it's terribly hard to hit. You have to call out landing with something like fair, but it's still really hard to contest early. Uh, straight down smashes is probably your best bet uh, off of like certain platforms if you can catch the aerial drift of the Jigglypuff. I like themselves. I like the way Mouth uses Nair actually, or Bunk. But sorry guys, his yeah, no. was previously Mouth. But yeah, I just love. Uh, yeah, I love the way he uses Nairs because he uses Nairs to kind of step out Puff if Puff mm -hmm. is facing towards him. Back air though, if Puff is walling back air, there's really not a huge answer to for Peach except to like get closer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's really hard. One thing that's really weird and it's like little well it's huge actually is that each if she's floating up high usually like there's not a characters that can go out there and like hit her when she's all yeah the way but up jiggly puff, puff definitely can. jiggly yeah. has some balls yeah. yeah puff can go all the way out there bro mm -hmm. so it's it sucks for her and one of the big things is that we really need to see from bunk and one of the reasons why he beat stj previously is showing the confidence in his aerial mobility being able to be brave enough to call STJ out on some of his aerial positioning. Because STJ is very brave with like coming in with Nairs, but some of them are pretty unsafe if Bunk is not afraid to go in with his own Nair and yeah. then scrap a little. Yeah. The only problem is that it's difficult. Yeah, it's super difficult. It's, it's a, such a back and forth because if you Ooh. miss, maybe something like that happens. Yeah. But STJ very inconsistent with... Uh, the rest not being able to drift in far enough to oh, catch right. bunk his rest game on ICs is actually crazy it's mm -hmm. crazy amazing but i never really see th these two sets so i really can't judge uh SDJ's rest setups are like really abnormal he goes for like hard reads like he'll call out he's i've seen him call out movement with the rest so yeah uh, he's definitely kind of ridiculous oh oh, oh man yeah. yeah wow okay he's still living that's crazy <sighs> And just being able to contest turnips with fair is such an incredible tool for yeah, Jigglypuff. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, trying to call it out with the float cancel up air, but on the roll in. SCJ. SCJ hasn't been covering roll in all that much against Peaches. I feel like he has a big problem against floaties uh, with that problem. Yeah, he's. I don't know, because, like, usually. I don't know, because usually he does really good versus the Yeah, floaty. that's one of like, the big... Yeah, yeah. Like, usually he does, like, amazing. Like, I've seen him play against Sheik, seen him play against Marth. Mm -hmm. Definitely Icy's. We've all seen that. He's, he's pretty good, but, like, I don't know, dude. Bunk's got a hold of it, and Bunk actually has a really good record, so I don't think it's his floaty thing as much as it is a peach and, like, a yeah. mouth thing. Like, Bunk is, like, super good. Just being clear it. on positioning and stuff like that. And that's what you were stating earlier, is that yeah. Jigglypuff can afford just to yeah. go out there to she say, like... super high, dude. I've seen, like... Just they go up, they go all the way so close into the bubble that they take that one little percent, you know, just yeah. to like back air. They're dude. fighting on a stage of their own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, dude, I mean, like, Fox can't do that. So it's like, that's like a blessing. But then you play against oh. Puff. Look, this could. Oh, he misses it. That was it. a great dip. Yeah, dip again. it's all just a mix up right now. Yeah, but. we're going to see it. And he's just waiting out because he knows he yeah. is going to go for that dip. SCJ so patient. Oh, he goes for the Ooh. nair instead of the back air. I'm so I'm super surprised he went for the nair, dude. That was that was weird. It's looking rough though. 70% is a really hard because the most comfortable position that you're gonna find when putting Jigglypuff in a trade is easily 110 to 120. Yeah, definitely. 
Oh man, oh. I thought he was gonna time out grab there. Like there's, it's a mix up between whether or not a pep is going to throw out an aerial or uh, when she short hops like that. So she's gonna, that's probably it. You're yeah. living on a prayer, yeah. So usually the mix up there is like if the pup short hops in front of your shield or is like dipping low, they're either gonna aerial or they're gonna land in Tomahawk grab. Mm -hmm. So it's like really scary. You gotta be careful to not hold the shield, especially as a slower character. If you're a faster character, it's easy to get out of that situation. But if you're Peach, like your wave dash out of shield isn't super long and you don't have the best out of shield like options. Her Nair is decent, but it's like uh, probably too slow to jump up in there in time for the Tomahawk grab. To yeah. So one thing I do want to know, and I actually just remembered it, one of the reasons why Bunk took the set, and I'm not saying it's one of the big reasons, but SDJ did play Fox game one against Bunk. So I feel like that is a good reason as to why Bunk, uh, one, disorienting the stage picks, because they didn't go to FD or FOD on the second game. Yeah. So uh, opting towards Dreamland game one with Fox, going to Battlefield game two, and then going to... PS or Pokemon Stadium, yeah. uh, game three. That's a rest, oh. but he misses it. Wow, and that's an up smash every day. The yeah, I mean, 19%. That's it's like you don't really get a lot off of the rest punishes, regardless. Mm -hmm. So you got to take what you can get. Like, that's another good part for Puff in this matchup is that rest is less of a commitment. Let's say if like you know she, he she like rests against you know Captain Falcon or Fox, like sh she could just easily die. But with Peach, it's likely she's not. Mm -hmm. Oh, and every tit for Tat. Okay. Wow. Ooh. I thought he was trying to call him out uh, yeah. floating above him because SDJ definitely likes to do that. That's an investment, though. Yeah. Like, at that point, it's so laggy. You're going to be caught in the animation and in the end lag itself that playing against such a fearsome character like Jigglypuff, especially as Peach, where you're practically at the disadvantage by itself, it's... It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard. But you, you have to, like, go for those reads. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, you need those in this matchup. That's what makes this matchup, like, bearable at this mm -hmm. level. And it, and I even said in the beginning of the set itself that Bunk needed to be consistent. So, ragging on him for that up, or that up smash shouldn't, shouldn't really exist. Because if he's going for that, that shows that he's confident. Like, yeah. he's not afraid of Bunk at any point in time. He's just very conscious of the danger that SDJ provides. Oh my gosh, he's just kind of, yeah, he's just gonna wall back here because Peach, Peach just gets outranged so yeah. hard, you know? And SDJ is also covering the roll yeah. on the positioning. He, you can't roll in, and at that point, you shouldn't be fighting for stage control anyways. You should be going for these trades, especially with the stock up. Ooh, but Mouse got all this stage positioning. He's making it work. Oh, the up smash was questionable, but... Like I said, sometimes you've got to make those call outs. On the up and up. Ooh, the down smash. Okay. Yeah, dude, he's just got so much percent on him right now. Oh, dude, this is looking rough. He needs yeah. to get an up tilt right now. He, I know Malph wanted to down smash. Yeah, he's not sharp. And Malph, I wouldn't say Malph is playing scared here either. He's just playing very careful. Whoa, you see what I'm talking yeah. about? Those types of crazy rests, you know? Like, it's not like... You know, your typical up tilt rest. Like, he definitely... Oh! oh! He almost had it, yeah, too. Yeah, that was so scary. Wow. I would... He would be in my head all day long after that. Yeah. Oh. This is so close. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm very scared for Bunk because this could be a flat 2-0 from SCJ. You're living on a prayer, and once again, at that 73%, it's more manageable than what we saw uh, on the first stage because you do have those tighter uh, blast zones, but... Oh. oh, the reverse back air. 
Yeah. That? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. That platform helped SDJ out so much. Oh, great. Oh, she'll drop gosh. on the yeah, light shield. I don't want to see SDJ facing towards him. I want to see him walling more back airs. And he's going to have to cover out the landing right now. Yes. Covering the roll in. That is SDJ's biggest weakness. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a nair. Yeah. Great he's like, on oh. bunk. You see how hard he had to work for that, dude? Like, I, I, I feel him on these pop-offs, dude. Like, it looks rough, man. He had to work hella hard. Yeah, I've never seen... It looks like SCJ is crippling under all of that pressure. He's definitely in his own head at that point. Because we're seeing him in his landing, not covering any form of air pressure on the last stock. He's just going for the rolls. He's just trying to get out of the pressure that Bunk is having. And even though it is pretty valuable, it's kind of a facade. Because if you look at the matchup overall, being at that high percent, you're not clearly in that much danger if you just play it as careful as you were earlier. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's dude, It's just really... This, this matchup's just so scary. Yeah. And he's got a stitch. <laughs> yeah, it's just staying composed. Yeah. But, oh, oh, yeah, here we that's go. That's one. Let's see how many he can hit. Oh, oh he could have hit him right yeah, raw. He, really he could have decked him in the mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, he just wasted it. Okay, on, I don't bro. think he cared enough. He doesn't want to, like. So, uh, actually, something I hear from future mains that a lot, not a lot of people talk about is they don't like to keep the stitch for too long because it changes the game and sometimes it can be to a disadvantage. Yeah. So, it's like they don't want to just, hunt, like, harp on the fact that they have a stitch base because let's be real, down smash can do most mm -hmm. the same amount of damage. Uh, it's nice, though, to have a flying down smash yeah. <laughs> as a projectile, but, like. Yeah, I think that would that's definitely a big plus yeah. when uh, contesting Jigglypuff. But, yeah, with a player like SCJ, just being able to immediately jump. Oh, you could have just reversed. Yeah. I feel like just some form of like falling back air just to try and catch him out. Ooh. Yeah, and he's yeah. just trying to cover more space, especially with holding center stage, all of those rising nares. But at that percent deficit, SDJ playing clearly. Ooh, that was a sick stronger. dash attack to call yeah. that out. That was crazy. <laughs> if anything, yeah, if anything, SDJ could do, yeah, it's a pretty sick the, dash attack. Yeah, yeah, like I didn't know, I didn't think about that at all, but he did it. He's weird, man. He knows, he knows what he's doing. Oh. Oh, yes. That's a flow oh, cancel I, Nair into immediate grab, just taking advantage of the plus on shield. Oh, oh that's man. For DI. Oh, yeah. I don't think SDJ was expecting that at all, actually. Yeah. I know I wasn't. Oh, okay. Ooh! No, why shield it? That's the he only thing you don't it. shield. If, if, you're, if your shield breaks, SDJ, that's on you, Yeah, guys. he's going to have to take start oh, taking the hit. It. He wanted to grab it, but he didn't. Oh. Man, wow, he's just I can't believe he shielded that. I know, dude. That was ballsy. That that knows that SDJ like really isn't thinking in his prime at that point because he's he's not really registering the fact that like oh crap that is a uh... yeah it could either be that or it could just be that he knows that if his shield is full it won't break but that's scary because if it's tough yeah. if it hits your shield and it breaks your shield you're dead yeah I was about you know to what say I mean like it's not like oh my shield is broken I'm gonna eat a punish it's like my shield is broken and I'm dead especially at that high percent that he was at like. Because his shield was so low, he had to take some hits. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. I would have just, like, taken the taken the Mr. Saturn. Yeah, I would have been like, personally. you're getting socked in the mouth, Mal. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I would have I would have taken it. Oh, man. Ooh, I like that grab. You see what I was talking about with, like, the falling down? Yeah, like, with yeah. the tomahawk. With the, yeah, yeah. Either that or, you know, they throw out a move, and that beats the tomahawk. And, and it is that, that positional mix-up. Yeah. And if you get too caught up into it, it literally makes Jigglypuff players do whatever they want at yeah. that point. And we see that. Oh, he baited that out. Mm. He took all that stage. He was like, I know that you don't really have any option to get out right now. So, I'm just gonna so with what we see from SCJ as well is that if he allowed him just to get in his head with those like tomahawks or those empty hops, uh, a lot of the time uh, we could see just like drill up smashes at later percents being able to kill on FD if uh, Bunk chooses to start staying in place. Ooh. Okay, dude, Bunk is just having a hard time mm -hmm. finishing this stock. Like, SDJ is still on his first stock. Oh my god. Yeah, and this is this is really going to find you as a player and your overall play style. Hopefully this doesn't cripple like any form of game plan that you had previously, being at, honestly, two stocks, almost one. Oh, SDJ with the lead, man. Mm -hmm. So scary. And he's just carrying it. He, yeah. he is allowed to carry it as Ooh. long as he wants. 188%? Are you kidding me? That was stupid. Oh. 
That was crazy. Yeah. He's like, you can't let him live that long, but like SDJ's so good at living that long. Yeah, exactly. Long, you know? So it's like, it's easier On said FD than done. Itself, yeah, like. yeah. It's way easier said than done. If you had any form of wishes, it's, it's pretty few and far between. They're, all hope is dwindling. Oh, man. These dash attacks, dude. I'm really liking the, how he's using them. Yeah. Like, Just being able to add that extra pressure and then cut off that timing because obviously they're trading on an even back and forth at a pretty same tempo yeah. so that dash attack definitely adding to it yeah. so Ooh. and buck's been hit by dash attack i think like six times throughout the set yeah we've seen it pretty consistently okay. oh my gosh oh! oh but he dodges it dude mouth has been pulling hella turn up uh, yeah. like he pulled this stitch face against me man like he's just got it all that wow. was sick. That was super sick. That was super sick. And it's good because I haven't seen a proper uh, Jigglypuff punish from Mouth in or from Bunk in like I think it's two so weeks. Hard. It's so yeah, hard. It is, dog. it is hard. I I'm, can't blame him. It's so hard, dude. I don't. You don't even see like Armada. Didn't, mm -hmm. He didn't really get any like death punishes that often. Like, dude, this matchup's rough. FD dude. is probably one of the only times you would be able to. Yeah. Definitely. Oh. Oh. Uh, Great catch there. on that landing. SCJ adjusting his glasses, and it looks like his game plan really hasn't gone any form unwarranted. At the advantage if he wanted to go for the timeout at 2 minutes and 8 seconds. So take that as you will. I know Malf having some pretty big frustrations trying to play very long matches in neutral. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think trying to stay that consistent iron wall, but SCJ definitely staying... Uh, just more of a nuisance. Yeah, he really he's just poking at him. This mm -hmm. is down to a minute 46, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. But it's good to show that even at the top players, that mouth is staying so, like, composed. Yeah. Because I know previously when he was just, no, I'm yeah, not going to deal with his this. Head, yeah, slap his he's like, oh, this game went to one one minute. This is bullcrap. Yeah. So but now, like, this has. I mean, like, he's, this is every this week. Is, this is the most composed I've seen him in a while when shit like this is happening, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, seriously. With the wall. And yeah, he's just. Is here. What the fuck? <laughs> he's just putting himself in really poor positions. Not on purpose. I know he's just trying to get every inch that he can, especially yeah. against STJ. It's just really unfortunate to see. Because. Oh, SCJ is his ground game is way better than I expected. And it it makes sense as to why he's going so far. Fifty-five seconds. He's going for the timeout right now, dog. Yeah. Like but straight up. Like I he, don't think it's just to get Malf mad. I think it's no. just because he can. He literally has the lead, so there's no like real reason yeah. to go for it. You know? It's not because he's he wants to like annoy him. He's not yeah. doing like the bratty option. Yeah, he's doing it just because like oh my gosh, yeah. that was so scary. Because if he got in that scramble and he got it down smash. Like, he's trying so hard not to take percent, mm -hmm. and this is looking like a rat. Yeah. Fuck, dude, and that looked rough. Once again, that war of attrition. One of the reasons why SDJ and Bunk are so strong as players.